So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, <laughs> it's March uh, and it's sunny and you miss the spirits that are buoyed when the sun comes out and we get that sense that spring is, is coming. Uh, you missed uh, old friends and, and new friends, some folks who dropped by for the first time, some folks we haven't seen in a while, got back from wherever they've been. It was that kind of that kind of day. It uh, it felt good to be at Jubilee today. Um, the music, and I know I always say the music was great, but I have nothing to do with it, so I'm not. It's not self-serving, <laughs> but the music was really wonderful today. A terrific anthem and a fantastic solo. Uh, just such a beautiful, pure tenor voice. We sang some new hymns. We sang some old ones, but somehow they felt pretty cool. Um, so it was, it was, it was good. It was good. We we continued our Lenten journey, and Anne shared uh, the fear of change with us as a, as as a meditation, and we we confessed that we are often afraid of change because many of us are so invested in the way things are. We're not. We're not racist. We we're not against this or that. We don't uh, have a problem with with different expressions of, of of politics or 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 personhood or at least that's what we say. But the truth is that we are so invested in the way things are that we don't always want to change. And so and so racism goes unchecked and. Justice is never broad or deep enough to really reach the people that need it the most. The poor get poorer. The marginalized get swept aside because, well, we'd like to include them, but we are invested in the way things are. We're afraid of change because we don't know how we'll fit in. We, we confess that today as, as, as a community. And we asked, we asked for guidance. We asked for courage that we might let go of, of privilege, that we might get out of the mud of our privilege and, and be part of something new, that we might trust in God, that there is a place for us in something new. We did that today. We listened uh, to the Ten Commandments from Exodus, and we wondered... We heard about Jesus getting angry and, and knocking over the, the tables of the money changers. And we wondered. We wondered what made Jesus so upset. Because, in fact, it would seem that the people there, money changers, the ones offering doves and, and, and uh, animals for sacrifice, they were simply fulfilling the letter of the law. They were doing it. They were making it possible for people to, to make sacrifice, to to be in accordance with the law. But we listened again to the Ten Commandments and we began to wonder, what's the purpose of the law? And we discovered together that the purpose of the law is not civil obedience, not community relations, but the law is meant to bring us into relationship with God, to bring us closer to God. That's the intent, that's the purpose of the law. And so we recognize that sometimes adhering to the letter of the law does not always fulfill the purpose. It doesn't always bring us closer to God. We wondered if perhaps that's what makes Jesus angry in the story in John's Gospel, also the other Gospels when he knocks over the tables, that we have become so fixated on the letter that we've lost the spirit. And the spirit of the law is, is that we should be lifted up and brought into community with God and with each other. The law shouldn't make us hide in the dark, f afraid of being punished. The law, just the Ten Commandments, as we look at them and find ourselves wanting, should bring us closer to God, asking for help, asking for strength, asking for guidance. That the spirit of the law is that we're meant to be brought closer, not further from God. Unfortunately, we so often use the law to we wave it at others and we try to drive them away, drive them out of community, drive them out of relationship because we've not understood. 
God's law is meant to bring us closer to God. God's law is meant to foster good relationships with all our relations, all of creation. And when we lose sight of that, we've lost sight of the law. We can hang on to the word all we want, the letter of the law, but we've lost the spirit. I am your God, God says. This is personal. This is about relationship. So we wondered about that today. And I'm sorry you weren't with us. But spend some time, if you want to, wondering. All of this talk of, of God's law, the 600 plus commandments of the Hebrew Scriptures, the, the dictums, the recommendations, the, the commandments that come out of following the way of Jesus. What are they? How do they affect us? How do they touch us? But more importantly, what is their purpose? What is the spirit? And if we don't find it uplifting, if we don't find it bringing us closer to God, then we need to look again and wonder about how we're living, how we're reading. Because the spirit of the law is always meant to bring us closer to God. Anyway, something for you to think about. And, uh, and hopefully... We're going to get to see you soon so that we can think together, we can learn from each other, because that's what community is meant to do, to share, to learn. So please, see us soon. But until you do, God bless.